Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbeck. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here's your weekly technical analysis of Kansas City and Minneapolis wheat markets. Kansas City wheat. The plethora of disappointing rallies up to the 50% Fibonacci line of the August 2020 to May 2021 move at 900, which had stalled, turning lower, finally came to an end in late July. In the process, the declines back in April constructed a monthly key reversal down. Very nearly did the same for the month of May. These moves down and then back up created a diamond pattern type highlighted in bright green on my daily chart for the action from April through May and into the first part of June. The market broke up and out of this diamond pattern type reaching up for an initial primary target in the 902 area just over the 50% Fibonacci line for the August 2020 to May 2021 move at 900 but failed to reach the harder secondary target which has since been retired. The subsequent drop punched down with an unusual key reversal down six weeks ago that sliced through the combination of declining medium moving average currently at 801 and a short medium moving average currently 781 which incidentally back then between them had formed that day a dead cross. That day also saw the market punch down through and close below the bright green trend line extension to the diamond pattern as well as the purple uptrend currently at 820 of the previously highlighted over many many weeks highlighted really big inverted roof pattern sometimes called a half diamond pattern formed from the start of this year up to that time at the start of august four weeks ago i laid out the potentials below for the inverted roof pattern thus and i quote Primary target X2 for the inverted roof stroke half diamond pattern will be down in the 733 zone with a secondary hard as a reach target X3 down at 646. This is only the first few days of this move low, so it could still be a false break, but those are the potentials for such a pattern as this inverted roof pattern. End of quote. Three weeks ago, prices reached the primary target X2 down in the 733 zone. But then we stopped the decline. Instead, moving in between the next immediate support zone below at 707, with the 250% Fibonacci lines acting as congestion a little below between 691 and 697, and the June 2014 high and 2022 low, both overhead at 748, acting as a cap. The pressure for the moment is still on the downside, but it has not stopped the market from forming over the last four weeks at least a rudimentary double bottom and maybe even a triple bottom. This would be purely academic should prices push down below 700 and could then even add to the bearish actions by acting as a bearish half hesitation type pattern. But for now, I'd rather just point them out as supports, holding up the market and maybe even trying to solidify into a stronger support. Minneapolis wheat. In late February, and especially at the start of April, the market constructed a large bear channel that morphed into what we see highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. A descending, expanding wedge pattern, currently 656 to 833, originating from December last year, but really becoming evident from February this year. The upper trend line has on occasion been reinforced, well, sort of, by the declining medium moving average, currently 830, and most recently by the declining short medium moving average, currently 829, which combined together to help cap the market for the most part. However, nine weeks ago, the market made a clear break above the upper trend line, and also the important declining long moving average, currently at 857. The market then utilized the long moving average as a base for the last attempt higher in late July, all the way up to reach the 50% Fibonacci line of the significant August 2020 to May 2022 move at 955. A few weeks ago, I placed some potential targets for this descending expanding wedge pattern on the upside. We had a primary target in the 997 area with a secondary harder to reach target X1 in the 1024 area. I also raised uh, another potential pattern nine weeks ago and that was to look at the whole action since late February as a possible reverse head and shoulders pattern. 
I've marked the likely spots for the two shoulders and the head, and though it is sloped and not a perfect pattern by any means, it still had merit, especially when we took the upper trend line of the descending expanding wedge pattern as the neckline. Thus, I also laid out some potential topside targets for the reverse, reverse head and shoulders pattern. A primary target was in the 954 area, and a secondary hard to reach target X3 is up in the 991 area. Price has reached the primary target at 954 for this reverse head and shoulders pattern before immediately dropping back down all the way until early September. This move lower has negated the potential targets on the top side and they will be retired after this commentary. So what has all this action left us with? Well, we are back within the descending expanding wedge pattern but prices are having a hard time trying to push down through the July 2021 low at 778, the congestion at 769, and even approach the congestion at 754, which is part of a band that stretches down to the 737 June 2021 low. Yet there is one possible pattern in the offing here, and that is to regard the action since mid-July as a possible descending scallop pattern. Now the idea has merit, as the move up in September can be seen to be part of the lower portion of the ski slope, um, or the bottom of the J-curve if you like. If this is to become true then we may well see a move back down to the 760 zone, or a strong test up to the 810 area overhead. Once one of these is done, assuming the pattern is genuine of course, then I can lay out potential targets for the pattern, either above or below. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.